Good morning. Where is this camera pointing? How's everyone doing? How's everyone How is everyone doing? Hey Kuro, Captain Jetlag, Svensson, Deerbard. Good morning. Blue Rib. All fantastic people. Alright. Michal, time for some topics. Throw them at me so we can get going. Ilari, good morning. Creature footwear cobbler. Sun crusher. Wow, that's an interesting one. Corrupted Samurai, Near Future Voodoo Priest, that's pretty cool. Pandemic, alright, the last one, one more, Jungle God. Four, and that is Near Future Voodoo Priest by Svensson, Svensson Art. Near future voodoo priest by Svensson. All right. All right. Time's rolling. Time to do some near future voodoo priest. Near future. That means kind of half sci-fi voodoo sacrifices right. okay so I'm um, seeing this um, this guy um, with a um, um, robotic snake and uh, cables connected to his hands um, like he's operating um, machines but they're dead and so he the voodoo of, you know, like sacrifices, is uh, machine sacrifices. <clears throat> and he has, um, like, um, electrical impulses um, um, connected to his hands so that he can, uh, can res resuscitate uh, robotics. Hey, good morning, Opelonic. Zerta book. Good morning, good morning. Right, so he's connected, like, so that he can touch a um, a ro robot and and its parts, and it will uh, like come alive. And I was thinking, like, he's um, has lots of displays uh, around his head. It's a little bit um, like a, you know, he's wearing cadavers of, of robots and interfaces and so on. Like it's not a clean and happy future. It's uh, very um, dirty. Oh no, Captain Jetlag, that is a horrible idea. I do not like that idea at all. What? No, no. 
No, that won't will never happen. I will re-roll the dice if you give me three hundred. I w no, 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 no. Damn it! <laughs> Why? Why do you have such bad ideas? That is a, not a good idea. <laughs> and in Nolan, oh, what's what's the matter? Why, uh, why no more warm ups? You got a new job or too busy? He's kind of post-apocalyptic, yeah, but in this instance he's a voodoo priest, so he's, he's, he's deliberately, um, you know, not wearing uh, uh, Apple products, you know. You wouldn't see um, a voodoo priest in real life uh, look like a business guy, right? So by default he's going to be a bit um, dodgy. Uh, but uh, for me, the idea was like that he's uh, instead of using sac live sacrifices like chickens and so on, or, or dead people, uh, he uses mechanical spirits. You know, because um, near future tech, I don't know, I just took it that, in that direction. But my idea is that also the near future is not pristine. Like an Apple product, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a dirty future. Okay, Andy Nolan. It's a shame that you you can't uh, you can't join us. You'll be missed. But it's good that you have a job. I hope it uh, it'll pay remotely good, um, so that you don't need to worry about um, income. I think for me that's one of the worst things to worry about. Like, will I have money? I was thinking um, that this voodoo priest, you know, because it's all about, you know, the kind of like the dark arts, right? Um, and you, everyone knows that voodoo can, uh, you know, some like the whole make, making zombies, right? So maybe, maybe this technology, technology, these uh, machines that we use, we we put so much of ourselves into them that he can. Uh, like you gain access to people, so there's is the kind of modern day voodoo doll, right? Uh, he just um, needs your smartphone and he can uh, enter it, the 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 spirit realm of your phone and access your your inner being because you've put so much of your own energy into your device because you're always touching, it, right? You're always carrying it with you. Human humans are electrical impulses, so maybe somehow there's a kind of rubbing off.
<clears throat> so that's how you can control it by by getting inside of your device. <laughs> I don't know, I have to go with something, so that's what I'm going with. This is a lovely mechanical snake body. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat at the moment. I'm way too busy um, making a snake body. Hope you like to, guys, don't mind. too much time on it. It is what it is now. I think it's good, Andy. I think um, you got a good job, and which means you need to don't need to worry about it, and uh, which means you can focus on, you know, put your energy into something else, you know, be it uh, art or um, finding a bigger job that is um, requires you to sp spend more time for it. So that you you don't need to risk not getting an income because you need to take that step. I mean, maybe you could uh, you know work towards the next step by just spending time in the the job you don't really want but need. A forty hours a week gig is what eight hours a day. Hopefully, there's a little bit of commuting as well, so you can maybe. Uh, work on your craft or calm down, make plans. Hey Kuro. Yeah, it's a little trick I usually do when I do mechanical things. Um, I got a bunch of those little tricks that um, I usually share on on lectures and so on, but um, or or just online. This is fun to use the, the strength of uh, Photoshop for to your advantage. How long our time? Halfway. Pfft, this is not good. Not good for halfway. Need to speed it up a bit.
Hey, Pi Master Ini. Hey, thanks Mila. Good morning. Glad you could make it. Yeah, so it's um near future voodoo priest and I was um thinking it's um a tech voodoo priest, so he uses your devices that you use all day, every day, to gain access to your um, soul when he does does his voodoo, and he's surrounded by uh, monitors and uh, devices so that he can kind of access the spirit realm or the voodoo, whatever voodoo people access. Probably some really badass sounding magic name so scary sounding okay let's um, <clears throat> add higher density details around these monitors so that they kind of stand out a little bit more I need to for them to <clears throat> be more visible Yeah, Michael, that would be really cool to see. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. I had to, I had to speed it up a bit. Um, I was kind of behind, so um, need to get some um, content in here. So I'm just slightly moving a bit faster to um, add details. I mean, I could do faster but it doesn't feel good I like the you know the where we can think a little bit but as it's only 30 minutes I there's no really a lot of time to uh, take it easy so I thought I'd just speed up a bit uh, put some content in and then slow down so approximately eight minutes until I wanna <clears throat> start blocking in a little bit. So I gotta um, move it. That's pretty good. I'm kind of digging the direction. Also, higher density information around his head, so that we are we're looking over there. All right, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Starts to read. <coughs> so, what maybe the idea? Maybe how how can he um, like trinkets? Does he have any trinkets? He can't wear bones, like because he doesn't sacrifice living things. Oh, he can have a um, shitload of wires hanging off him, and uh, like uh, circuit boards. Would be cool. Like he has a. Uh, wires and cables that could be the whole thing uh, this is higher density uh, details around his head it could all be copper wire and things
I think that could look cool. You know, you could even see, um, like, if he was animated, like um, you suggested, um, you could even see, like, a faint electric current run through the, uh, the, the wires, like sparks here and there, like glowing almost. I think that would be cool. This tech voodoo priest. Who's gonna <coughs> eat your soul? Let's give him some magic. Why not, right? He's a voodoo priest, so they they know magic. <laughs> that reminds me. There's a really funny um YouTube clip of um, um, this guy who can do a really good like um, African black guy voice and he plays uh, I think it's like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty and he uh, pranks people he can he looks up their um, IP and finds out their name you know through subscription and so on but he pretends to be like this uh, actual voodoo priest, you know, like... Uh, it's funny, you should try to find it. Uh, I think Call of Duty voodoo priest uh, might give you a hit. But it's really funny to hear people like... Um, first, like some 14-year-old some boy, like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, being an asshole on, on Call of Duty or... And then he starts saying, I know where you live, but in this kind of creepy black guy voice, um, you know, like a voodoo priest guy voice. Um, that accent, you know, that classic African accent, um, like Congo or whatever. And he's like, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize, sir. I will not be like a <laughs> rude on the internet, sir. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so, it's such a funny clip. Hey, Jordy. Good morning. Thanks, uh, DM7755. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordy, um, no, it's some sort of like African drug lord Call of Duty. Uh, it's really funny. I don't know the handle of the person, but it's super scary voice, like really dark, uh, deep, like, ah, oh, it's funny. You should, you should, you guys should try to, to find it online. It's really, really good fun. Okay, three more minutes. Obviously, I slow down and start talking too much, reading chat. <clears throat> so I need to speed up again. And this time, I have actually not placed any darker parts. It's okay. I will make up for it. It's a bit weird. I can't change it. It's a really funny. Yeah, it reminded me of it. That's why I, I took, brought it up. I, 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 I would, I'm not going to attempt to to try to mimic him, but he does it really, really well. Maybe the snake has like a some sort of interface in it, in its mouth, rather than poison, it uh, connects to a device. 
as it is his companion. Thanks, Jordy. I'm glad you're digging it. It's fun to draw, but I'm. I have to start adding the block out now, even in advance. I just know it. I'll, I won't have time because it's uh, complicated. Lots of little things here and there everywhere. By the way, for you who remember, I was talking about we were doing um, <coughs> working with a new client that I was going to do. You know that they were happy with the, the input and so on, and they've now expanded it to uh, to more artists at the studio. They get the contract, which is really cool. So now we are a total of three, I think, who's going to be working on the same contract. So they were obviously happy, which is awesome. Happy client makes me happy. Knowing that they're so pleased, you know, they won't just want to get more faster. Which is great. Confusing here. So many suggestive lines. Sorry, I, I can't read the chat at the moment. Um, way too uh, engulfed in this. I'll draw it right now. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the IFCC. Opelonic, <laughs> thanks to Mikhail as well. And Namila, thanks. I will most likely um, work on it some more at some other time, but um, um, as this is just a 30 minute stream time slot, uh, that is all I'm going to spend on this sketch. But it's like I said before many times um, sketching like this is a great way to get ideas, it's, it's a fun way. And a um, carefree way. Yeah, I'll be at the IFCC and I'll be um, having a lecture again. I was invited <laughs> the minute I stepped off stage last year or this year. Um, he said, oh, you're coming next year as well. So that's cool. Um, I'm contemplating, though, about what I should hold my lecture about. Should it be... Um, I have done design talks a lot, you know, about how to design characters and so on. But maybe I should just do a, a live demo, paint something. But maybe that's not what people are interested in. You know, when it comes to my art, so it's a it's a bit tricky.
Oh, thanks, dear Bart. Design talk and demo. All right. All right. Did you listen to this year's design talk? And um, sense it. I think you did, right? Philonic, yeah, <laughs> I should. Um, so, do you think Sensen go more in depth or less broad design talk? I'm um, I'm having a hard time kind of figuring out. Um, or maybe a shorter design talk. And uh, longer demo. Could work, Michal. Maybe it's fancy. That could be also. All right. This is it for today. Um, near future voodoo priest. I hope um, I did it justice. Um, see you guys and girls tomorrow. Have a great day, great evening, um, wherever you are in the world. Have a great one. Bye.